Hi, and welcome to the second episode of the season of FPL Top Dogs, Valianis. And uh, here's the, me, the guru, uh, Vince Wega, to take you through um, what's uh, quite a few um, friendlies have happened today. Uh, just a quick uh, rough take of what's happened today in the friendlies and um, where I am with my team at the minute. And uh, I got a mock done as well to set the tone for the season. And uh, just whatever bits and pieces. And also join the leagues, the Christy Nicholson Pub Fantasy League here in Ballyhonest County, Mayo. And um, also the King of the Travellers, which is known as the Knot. I'll share the codes as well later, guys. You know the countdown's coming. 11th of August is here. It's the 5th of August. And uh, let's get on with us and uh, see what we have in store. Uh, thanks for joining us, folks. That's great stuff. Um, I have been pretty happy with my draft so far. And of course, everyone's mulling the, the Mo Salah, the game week two against Bournemouth at home, and the TAA. Can anyone get Trent Alexander-Arnold in there? But there are other options and ways I was thinking, you know, maybe I'm looking through the telescope the wrong way when it comes to Mo Salah. Um, but I get into to that. I've, the normal way to view a telescope is, you know, you, you're putting this, the short side to the long side and you get a close up of your man. You know, that's what a telescope is. You can see things far away, right up uh, in plain sight. But, what happens if you flip it the other way around? That's, you know, the way I was looking at it. Um, and I'll get into that a bit later. Um, yeah, I could, I could go. This is uh, what I'm looking at at the minute. I'm not going to go too far away from Pickford. Um, he's just uh, a dead source. It's just stress-free stuff with, uh, with him. Good 4.5. Some people are taking a chance, you know, on um, Areola, I think from West Ham, four million keeper, possibly should start. Uh, need to keep an eye on West Ham. Uh, Estupian, Gabriel, uh, TA, I'm definitely not budging from these three. Um, I'm really happy to have TA in there. Saka, Matoma, okay, Mbwemo's gone from the last draft. Uh, just... Just a hunch, basically. Brentford haven't pulled up a lot of uh, trees, you know, in the, the recent Franglies. I'm not sure about Brentford. Rashford, uh, Fernandez. Yeah, Fernandez is the issue. Could some of his attacking threat be quelled with the arrival of uh, Rasmus? Hoyland coming in, and also Anthony's doing very well. It's, mm, I think Rashford's a must anyway. So, I need to. I'm wondering about Bruno at the minute, but eight point five, you can't argue with the value. Well, a bit people are saying what in God's name's going on there. Well, you know, Gabriel Jesus is injured. Of course, he's going to be out for a few weeks, possibly a month. Um, you know, I could, I could get Mo into this team by downgrading TAA and getting the the one point five million back, and I can get in. Mo that way, but uh, I've decided this time. Well, why why don't I try to, you know, flip the telescope the other way and try and uh, mitigate against Salah? Now, this this could be on actually because I'm going to keep 0.5 million in the bank here. Um, look, I think Wellback has to had a good preseason. Um, okay, Ferguson's competing there and um. They have the other lad, Pedro, or whatever his name is. Um, so there is a bit of competition uh, with that place, but I just have a gut feeling just for well back for, for Luton, that's all. Um, this game isn't all about statistics. You know, the statistics that you see from lots of companies now that are advertised by a lot of the influencers out there. I won't mention them, but you know, 
and they give you who should start in front of who should start, kind of like in a draft FPL, if you ever see the way that they're rated from one down all the way to 100. And yeah, pick Watkins because he's over Darwin or Darwin's over Watkins next week, pick him. You know, like it's it's one way to get the masses to do, uh, to be able to predict what the masses will do in FPL. And if you can get them to predict and go with a, a suggestion, then you can control the masses in FPL. And a lot of the um, spontan spontaneity goes out the window, creativity, hunches, guesses goes out the window. People just are, seem to be um, penned or penned into this direction, which uh, I, I don't like being boxed in whatsoever. So I like to have a little bit of a random. So I'm playing around with this position. Um, I could, I'm looking, look, Two up front, I haven't been really considering it. It was four, five, one, just have Haaland up there and get in either James, Chilwell, one of them two, with Colwell. Colwell is playing games and Potch likes young guys. And this Chelsea team reminds you what he's going to do with Tottenham, but with better resources, more money. And he knows how to nearly win a Premier League. Mauricio Pochettino, and I think with what he has at Chelsea, uh, and if they let him just do what he'll do, I think the American owner, owner Bowley, will allow him to do it. Um, he'll be he's been backed, and um, and Chelsea have signed somebody else from Leipzig as well. Um, I can't think of a but they spent another forty odd million, I think, on a defender. So, yeah, I I think it would be crazy not to kind of consider Chelsea. I'm going to put Chelsea in there. It looks like Colwell will definitely be in there. Um, Chelsea have two terrific games coming up. I know West Ham away, that's a toss of a coin. Um, but uh, I like I, I like what the Luton is home here in game week three. And uh, is it Bournemouth they have in game week four? Chelsea, Nottingham Forest, yeah. So um, I'll take them. Nottingham Forest have been terrible in preseason. I'm not sure what they're at. Steve Cooper, um, very, 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 very tough run in for Forrest. They have all the top six in, in the first eight games, possibly not far off. You can see the, you know, got United there and I think got Arsenal to, to start it off over uh, Highbury or Emirates, whatever. Um, and then, you know, for, well, Sheffield, yeah, okay. That's, that's a crack two years ago when they were playing with each other in the championship and Forest Chelsea there and I'm sure they have somebody terrible next um, yeah let's not get bogged down uh, Forest Burnley okay so it's a it's a hit and mix I was mooting getting Awani in but I'd have to get three strikers and rip up everything I'm not I'm not going to rip up everything and have three uh, three strikers. I want the versatility of five midfielders, and the point five million in the bank. Uh, this is this is my plan. Uh, that's the. Uh, I'll get back to that in a minute. Um, this is it here. <laughs> right. Hopefully, this thing will work. That's it. Uh, so, uh, the plan here. Is I've got the five strikers and use the Martinelli position. Eight million plus point uh, five will make eight point five. So, I was thinking about alternating United and Liverpool. I think they they really matched well. Wolves obviously you got the two United in there. Liverpool with Chelsea away tricky, um, and I'll see United Tottenham. You know I think that can be tricky for either are, but see Liverpool have. So I would probably um, get rid of Martinelli or whoever if one of them gets injured and downgrade to Luis Diaz or um, Jota to try and mitigate Salah. So that's why I'm on about the reverse telescope. You know, I have TA. I think he's a bargain. I think he's in midfield. Um, okay, the new Hungarian dude, I, I can't even... 
go anywhere near the pronunciation, but you know who I'm on about. He could be a threat for from set pieces, the Hungarian captain. Slobodac. Well, you know, okay. Um, but then again, United then, they have Forrest. You want to have your United then, so I could easily kind of switch back maybe to Anthony rather than Bruno. But Bruno, I think, would be the guy I'll get rid of. Um, oh, That's a shame that went off. Um, yeah, it's always scary when that stuff sort of happens, but yeah, I think Bruno probably, you know, so that's why the 0.5, if any of these guys rise, I'll be able to buy them back. So I'm just going to, look, United of Arsenal, I'll flip to Villa, get Jota back, or Diaz, because they're both midfielders. Gakpo's a striker, so can't really, and Darwin. That could be, that could be an alternative. I could, like, get, in, you know, fill the well-back position, but I don't want to lose... TAA, I've only got six million. The striker, it just, you know, that's um, but then again, United don't have that striker you can alternate with, so I that's why I have to kind of go with the midfield option, Diaz or Jota versus um, um, Bruno. Bruno will be transferred in and out with them too, so I I think I'm gonna be transferring in and out and try this 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 method, um. If it's a method, so Brighton and Wolves ha having a look at this. United transferring, transferring out. Um, United seem to have the preferable, you know, over Liverpool. They got one, two, three, four. They got like Palace at home when Liverpool played Tottenham away in game week seven. Um, they got Brentford at home when Liverpool are going away to Brighton. Tricky. And that was in game week eight. And in game week 10, Manchester City at home. And Liverpool have Forest at home. So I'll be transferring in Jota or Diaz. Uh, look, how you try. It's just it's just the way maybe I can cancel out what Salah's doing. What, well, you could say, well, why don't we get Salah in? Maybe. Uh, but it just... Uh, I, I want those uh those the, the two attacking Arsenal guys. I don't have any city in that, so I have to figure out um about City. But we'll see tomorrow the community shields tomorrow with Arsenal. We'll see. Um I know you shouldn't read too much into Frangley's, but it's the only date we have now. We're only a week away now from the beginning of the Premier League. So I I'm, I'm gonna do this sort of alternation thing. Um it it should be should be fun anyway. It might work. It mightn't work. Who knows? Oh oh, let's probably talk about overthinking it. Um. Okay, but at the minute, uh, I'm happy enough with that. Uh, you know, Bruno hasn't hasn't really pulled up too many trees either in preseason. So I'm not sure anyway. That's the way. That's the way I'm feeling on that. United winning three one, at home to Lens. And uh, yeah, everyone's the rage when Anna got chipped. Um, Diago, um, he uh, misplaced a pass in midfield and then he was chipped. He was at too far out, you know, the uh, the sweeper keeper sort of thing. Where, um, but she now rallied in the, the second half. Um, Rashford scoring, Anthony with uh, an assist there. Anthony then scored. And um, Casemiro got uh, got just bundled one in from Rashford. So yeah, uh, Rashford's showing good form. Anthony's showing very good form as well. Casemiro always has this knack of scoring as well. So I've I've been having a look at these um these uh results this just today, and it's thrown up a lot of uh it's, it's making me think about well, can we can I go a bit more creative with the the team? Um. Well, so well, basically, like uh, on the second of August, Arsenal drew one more with Monaco, and and Eddie and Ketty scored. So, look, lots of people want to easily have and Ketty is five point five, so I could put even and Ketty in there. Um, not worry about Martinelli. See how and Ketty gets on tomorrow. He could be a stopgap until uh, Gabriel Jesus is fit. Um. 
Look, I want to give Martinelli a chance anyway. He's not. I know his minutes with Trossard and all this. But Trossard could actually go in to that uh, well back row uh, with Arsenal. Ketty isn't guaranteed to start. Trossard can do the, the lone false striker number nine row. Uh, so yeah, so Enketia scored there. Arsenal won five four in penalties. Now Villa tonight, Watkins got on the sheet again on the score sheet again. McGinn scored. Uh, apparently a cracker, uh, stunner. Uh, Coutinho played, and there was no G in that one. Three 0 Villa versus Lazio tonight. Uh, Bournemouth two Lorient from France zero. Uh, David Brooks scored and Kiefer Moore, the Welsh striker, scored. So it's just interesting to see uh, who's in form. Brentford and nil, they drew nil nil. Not much to know or learn there. Mainz uh, over in Germany bet uh, Burnley 3 0. Pretty um, pretty comfortably. Chelsea, obviously, we were heard the Chelsea draw with Dortmund there a few days ago. Um, James was captain that night with Thiago Silver. Um, Levi Caldwell and Ben Till uh, Chilwell uh, at the four at the back there. Probably playing the 4 2 3 1 formation. Potch loves the best. Great value with Chelsea. Um, you have to be brave to be picking a few of the forwards. You know, and we know in uh he's injured. He went off uh, with an injury. So that leaves uh, you know, Nicholas Jackson up front. 7.5 million, I think, 7 million maybe. Um, it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, you know, I never heard of the guy before a month ago and, and then I'm going to put on my dream team. Um, I don't think so. Uh, Crystal Palace 2, Leon nil. Jeffrey Slup scored with um, Edward scoring. So that's interesting to know there um, for Palace. Uh, Everton won. Sporting Lisbon nil. Tarkovsky went off injured in that now, so he's a he's a big doubt for game week one, with alongside the injured Dan Juma and uh, Dwight McNeil is out for a few weeks now. It's, it's definitely not just a few days. And um, Dominic Calvert-Lewin scored a penalty, so you know it's DCL has scored. Could that be an outside? You know if he's back happy, and I like Everton's fixtures. It's a risk, I know. Um, I'll have to rip up the whole thing. Um, we'll see anyway. We'll see. Um, Fulham 2, Hoffenheim, Hoffenheim from Germany 1. Uh, the new guy, Jimenez, Raul Jimenez scored. And Calvin Bassey scored for Fulham. Um, they snatched a win there. Liverpool, uh, this is Liverpool 3, Bayern Munich 4. And uh, Gakpo, Van Dijk, and Luis Diaz. Uh, Liverpool were three two up on that, and two late goals by 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 Munich. Okay. One that went out. Wolves nil, Luton nil. Not much to learn there, as this we saw before. United three, Lens one. Um, Newcastle two, Florentina nil. Miguel Almar Almiron and uh, Alexander Isaac again. You know, well back DCL. Or even Welbeck, Isaac, or maybe DCL, Isaac, Haaland. It's mad stuff. Like it, it, it talk about going against the template. This, this is a very, very templatey team. I know. After what happened to me last year, I think this team will get you good points. Um. So so. Can't read too much. It's just nice to know that these guys are scoring and who's in form. <clears throat> um, what else have we got here? Sheffield United nil, Stuttgart three, Bayer Leverkusen four, West Ham nil, and West Ham had already lost to Ron. Ron how do you say Rennie? Rons uh, three, West Ham one on the 29th of July. So, um, basically, I mentioned that because. Ross bet Forest um in France 4 0 or 5 0, sorry. So uh Ross doing very well against uh Forest and West Ham, very well. But uh Wolves then bet them 3 1 today. Uh Alt Nori, Jao Gomez, 
Huang Li Chan. There, <clears throat> so uh, Julian Lakategi's guys, uh, a good uh, win to finish off the preseason at Molyneux. Uh, Matthew Nunez got two assists for so. If Wolves mightn't be, you know, I know it's only Rons or whatever, like, but um, it's just just food for thought. These are the statistics that I look at more than anything else. Um, so it's, it is food for thought. This um Dominic Calvert Lewin, like I have Pickford here, so. You know, um, I love the guy. If the guy can only keep fit, and he's a penalty taker, so uh, let's have a look at the fixtures. Okay, no look. It's just, uh, it's just life, isn't it? Everton, Arsenal. Okay, on game week, game week five, not great. Everton are away to Sheffield United. Interesting. Everton at home to Wolves, interesting. You know, Sean Dykes, guys, they have a nice start. Villa, okay, away is tricky, but you never know. You never know. It's just um Tarkovsky is a big, is a big, is a big loss if he can make them. So I'm not I'm not so sure now at this at this minute now. Brentford, um Luton, Bournemouth. Like we're, we're nearly into October. Um, the Villa away and the Arsenal, and you know Liverpool then. So I'm I'm think I'm thinking I think DCL will be a match out. Um, he had a great season a few seasons ago. I remember we were all on him. Um, so yeah, that's 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 my take of that. Um, I'll come back again when I've got something more more concrete. That should be okay to go. It should be fine. Um, yeah. I just need to sort out the Chelsea thing. Um, Micah, I'm going to go wondering about um, DCL in this. And figure out. I'm just worried about this. Bruno. I think United got a lot of attackers is I know we've got a draft tomorrow night. Um, I'm in the draft, and everybody's just wondering, um, is our man in the in the in the second thing? Um, what's his hoy? Island, nothing shows shown there. Um. Rasmus is not in there. It looks like could be a late one. Everyone's going to be, you know, wondering like what the United States. Like Rasmus, he was introduced to the crowd. He's not in there. Okay, so he should work very well with Ericsson. They're both international club teammates. So he's not in there. So we'll have to be keeping a close eye if he'll be included this year in the drafts. Um Okay, the draft is scheduled for Sunday. I think Sunday is is quite early. It should be a bit closer, um, to the deadline, which is Friday the eleventh. But having the draft on the sixth, um, a lot can happen. And also with the drafts as well, like a lot of you know, Harry Kane mightn't be. He might be here. He mightn't be there. He, he might be in Germany. He might be in London by September the first. We don't know. Um, it's looking likely he might go, <clears throat> but um. Yeah, oh, I'm just in my um, uh, Carpathy Lviv green. I have it here. Carpathy Lviv, Western Ukraine um, shell jacket. Well, it's more like a windbreaker. Because of this Man United Spurs thing, to be honest with you, I'll be there at White Hart Lane. Um, okay, it's the 11th or 12th, the 19th of August. I'll be in attendance at um, White Hart Lane. Well, it's not called that now. It's just the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, which is a joke. There's still no name and rights. It's just so obvious. They're waiting for to use the name and rights has a, a selling point to somebody because when they come in and buy the club, then they won't. They can get their own deal in, um, and they can use actually if, if it's actually um, 
from Sports Direct, you can put Sports Direct Stadium in it. Whatever, well, I don't think you do it. Be look, this money, money. It could be naming rights. Could be minimum two hundred fifty million onwards. So he's not going to do that. Mike Ashley's not going to do that. He's not. Look, I'm only joking. I think American football team is going to move in there. That's the the crux of it. I think someone mad's going to move in. Look, Jacksonville Jaguars are playing. Um, who's it again? The Bills, the Buffalo Bills, coming up in September. Um, or October. So I think it's October. Um, and our our winner this year, Rory Halford, will be popping over to London for that one. He'll be going to the game. Um, he's looking forward to it. And um, I'll meet up for a few beers before. I don't know if I go myself, but it's um. I'm a 49er to be honest. San Francisco 49er. I don't care about any other team. I don't want to watch any other team apart from if they come to town. Um, when Boston Red Sox came to town, I watched them and I'd go to them. But it doesn't mean that I'm gonna just buy any random ticket and go to watch anyone. I need to have a bit of skin in the game. But yeah, good stuff for Rory. I'll see him there. We'll do an episode of FBL Top Dogs. Uh whatever game week that is, um, we'll we'll figure that one out. Um yeah, so that's what I'm putting forward. I, I like Anthony from United as a possible alternative for uh, Bruno. And I like DCL. I mentioned in DCL as a possible... What is he? Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's see. It's a shame about Tarkovsky, 4.5. Um also, Caldwell was a is a threat from set pieces. I was reading in a Chelsea report there against Dortmund. So, I'm a big fan of this guy. I, I'm I'm going to have him on my team. In fact, um, I get rid of this Gabore because that's only copying Andy from. I feel I can't stand this copy. I hate it. Um, four point five. So, um, yeah. Where's DCL? Six million. So straight in. I could just put in DCL. So I'm going to have a wild card striker slot possibly with DCL. I will kick myself if well back scores too. Uh, I have a hunch about this guy. So look, I've got rid of... But why not? He's a penalty taker. It's great value. Nobody's got him. Like what's his... Uh, 2.4%. Um, and these are Everton's fixtures. And they're all sort of winnable in a way. And I think that D Sean Dyche is definitely, you know, earmarking this season so he can have the guts of his points done before. And I'm convinced Everton are going to, well, they want to have the guts of their points done because that's that's new. But they have a nice little run in as well. There's points to be made there. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm convinced Everton will be fine. And I think DCL... He's a massive injury problem. I know, I know, but uh, um, yeah, I can. So looking at this team, okay, minus two, minus a million. So look, I don't know. Get rid of Bruno. I'm worried about where Bruno's going to play with all these attack attacking guys. Sancho's got to be fitted in there somewhere as well. Um. And where's our man, Anthony? Seven. And, you know, there you go. Job done. Don't worry about it. I still got my point five. So, who am I going to rest? <laughs> uh, three strikers. Okay. Uh, three, four, three. Okay, I like... I like I like Matoma. I've I've got feeling about Martin Martinelli. I really do. But um, Everton is such a great run. It's and then you got City as well. So look at that for a run there. Uh, look, it's just a joke, really. United at home as well. That's handy. Spurs at home. That's always a win for Arsenal. It, nothing gets tricky really until City, and that's a home. And uh, yeah, Mikel Arteta will, will will definitely want to lay down a marker. I think I I think it's no brainer for for to have three Arsenal. I I want to get through 
at least to October, not having used my free hit or my wild card like I did after game week four. I had the burned free hit and wild card, and I was left absolutely nowhere at the end of the season. I couldn't. I had to be watching. I had to be taking minus fours a lot every game week, um, just so I could get into a position. Whereas if I had the, the wild card, I could have just done everything. I could have saved myself 20 points, 25, 30 points easy. And just so I'm not going to go down that road. So I think Anthony, he's definitely nailed on. Uh, he's, he's, he's definitely getting the forward and attacking positions. R yes, Bruno's the penalty taker. But, it, you know, fair enough. Now, um, over the, the Liverpool thing, um, I can still do it, but it'll be tight because we're only point five. Um, I think our I think um have to be careful of that. Whatever I think um Jota is eight. Jota is eight million, and Diaz is seven point five. So I'd only be able to go with seven. And this slow buzzy eye, whatever. Um. Yeah, so yeah, um, yeah, it's a tricky one. I'm only able to get Louise in there, and then I'd be in. So I'd have to, I'd have to be doubly sure about this, um. But it's worth a punt, um. Could be. I don't think I'd be making too many serious terrible errors by going with this team. Um, okay, enough of that because I'm not. I'm still undecided. Okay, so let's round up. Uh, round off this episode and thanks for joining us guys uh, really appreciate it thanks for all the likes this is the the latest mock after my 2.1 million uh, finishing last season the worst ever eclipsed my 330,000k in my first season uh, 2.1 million FPL hell this is the bridge of hell here's myself and my monk uniform uh little bit pixelated there. I have to get a better, I have to download a better version of this. Uh, I'll do so. Uh, I'll see if we can get a better version. The road to redemption starts now for the guru. Christy Nick, this is the code, is 4IA9VE. Christy Nicholson, um, pub fantasy team. All powered FPL top dogs, Valianis, and the NOS, king of the travelers, A Y. Treble C A, A Y C C C A. Okay, that's easier than the the other one. Uh, join the adventure. It starts on Friday, eleven of August, six thirty. Get that's the deadline for game week one. It's a Friday night, guys. Don't get caught out, please. It's just it's total, um, lame brain stuff. If you get caught out on the Friday night, it's it's just not top dog stuff. Seriously, you have to get kicked out of top dogs if you're. Getting caught. Uh, this is the one million mark. Just get over that bridge. Bare minimum for next season for me is top one million. But yeah, half a million. Come on. We, we are half a million. And then FPL top dog heaven. Top dogs, top 10. That's where the heaven, that's where we want to be. Um, top 10 in the Christy Nicholson pub fantasy league. Uh, otherwise known as top dogs, top 10. Yeah, so that's that's where I'm summed up anyway for this season. And um, yeah, make sure you give us a like and a subscribe as well. And uh, I'll have more crazy mullins, uh, mulling overs, everything. I think we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, Spurs will be pay taking on Shakhtar, which is kind of not massively competitive. It's mainly a game for Ukraine. Um, all the proceeds will be going to... Uh, Shakhtar mainly because of the um, what's his name again from Fulham Solomon he was a he was um, a Shakhtar player before he went to Fulham and he got a dispensation to go to Fulham on loan or whatever um, because of the war he had some you know he's an Israeli international but uh, the Spurs have took him off as a free agent or something I'm not sure whatever happened it's no coincidence that Jack Dar is now playing a massive friendly and probably nearly packed house 
a packed house at Tottenham there tomorrow. So good luck to Shakhtar. I feel a bit funny about the Solomon thing. Um, but he has a lot of energy, higher energy. Um, he should fit into Ange Postacoglu's um, setup. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'll mull over that anyway. I, I, could, I, I am a bit split. It could be could be three, four, three. Um it's just that yeah, I, I by nature I um I do like taking a little punt um boss mixed with a tinge of uh uh sensibility. Um I and you got no clues. So that's what I was trying to do, and just pass the cog clue. Um I ain't got a clue seriously um compared to last season so that's the the team name for this year i angel got no clues i angel pasta coglu um let's see who's in the christy nicholson pub fantasy league now some great winners i'm really relieved to have won it myself um and same with Christy, Christy Kill Course is delighted. He's just the pressure is off. Just win it once. So win well, just once. And that would be enough. Um it's getting a bit bigger. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, but but all these are quality um well placed players like you know Kevin Guru Killer, Kilbride you know they they're all they all play Michael Waldron well so I see him in the football and uh, Dermot Duffy's there yeah lots of this great great to have the regulars in here Shane Cullity's in there Dennis Ring yeah Joy Neenan, twice champion second last year um you know he definitely what you know I see he's the he's the guy to beat really. Finish above him, you win the league. Um, Joe Bray, Joe Fahey, Nicholas Lowman from the Royal Arbor Hall here, where I work, is in. Any sign of Bobby? No, Robert. No, uh, Shane Healy, at the Mickey. No, Richardson, Jeremy, Phillips, the big friendly giants in there. Uh, James, the Mave, the Maverick Lions is in there. Third last season, Kieran, aka Forty Seven Long Dog Kylie's in there. Jack Malone, the dancers in there. John C. Private Meekly Halpin is in there. Tony Silver Mind O'Brien's in there. Cyril Collins is he needs a nickname. Cyril. Um he needs I need to figure out. He's got two C's. He can't be called the Crumpers anyway. There's Cahill in here. Um yeah, the crumpet isn't in there yet. That's a bit of a shock. I hope he's got his team set up. Very good season last season. Top 10. Uh, Tosmodo's in there. Our resident uh, Zimbabwe and who loves the Irish rugby team. Christy, the snowman, kill course in there. Rory, the mission, mission impossible. Harford, last year's winner, um, is in there. Mark, the Oracle Phillips. Derek Hilkenny, I wonder, is he any to do with the knock in... Um, in, in the pub there, Kilkenny's. James Crane, yes, good stuff, James. Thanks. Stevie Stratford, um, Nolsey Nolan's in there. William, the hitman, Nestor's in there. Lovely. He's pretty bullish with his um um with his with his uh, estimation for this year. My advice is to play slow and then play fast at the end. Slow and fast. Don't blow it all in the first five game weeks like myself last year. Luke Walsh, Connor Hussey, Ross Commons, number five. Absolutely very happy to have Connor in our league. He's very proper top dog. Um, finished fifth a couple of years ago. Uh, he did okay ish last year, way better than what I did anyway. Uh, but by um, our standards, you know, listen, the way it should be uh, top 300K, you know, top. 200k that's that's where i i'm, I'm definitely aiming for that and beyond 
um, not not acceptable anymore. So yeah, I'm very happy. We've got a, probably an extra 15, 16 names for last week, which is good. Um, and it will fill up. Word of mouth for people, word of mouth. King of the Travelers, bit disappointed with the numbers here. Of course, shocking really. Um, yeah, Kevin's in there. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this if I don't get more names. If if I don't get more names, I might have to have a King of the Travelers. Um A Y C C C C A. Um it's shocking how people just don't. I think what happens here is I have to make a new league every season. It doesn't continue, it doesn't automatically click you in. Um I don't get the option to make this uh knockout uh head to head league like the Christy Nicholson. That's that automatically when your team is made, you're automatically in, I think, the the Christy. But the problem with this is that everyone everyone has to click back in again. Uh use the code. So I have to I don't know try and, yeah it's a shame. Really is a shame. Um everyone try and guess I don't know like if this everyone there and that like I want 38 names in this so I can we can just play one person every game week and not go back and have the random thing where Someone who's played Joey Neen and twice, Stevie Streffer Nolan twice, and Faceman twice, versus someone who's only played them once in the season, and they end up winning it. Well, normally, I, I, well, the way it's working is that normally the best wins the King of the Travelers. Like you know, Kieran Kiley won it a couple of years ago. He finished uh, fourth, and fourth or fifth. I think it was fourth, fourth. Um. And Joey won it last year. So, yeah, the, the best normally wins this, I know, but um, Joey's not in there at the minute. It's going to be a laugh. But anyway, Kevin Kilbride, thank you for joining. I sent the call to you, and you're in. Um, Nicholas is in there, and I'm waiting for Bobby, the other manager, to click in there, hopefully. So, we'll see. Um, so, yeah, that, that's about it, folks. Thanks, uh, thanks for joining us. It's all I got. And... Uh, Go out and don't forget these are the codes here you need. Uh, that's all I can do. Okay, folks. Thanks for joining us here. Um, hopefully that was FPL with a twist. Um, I do kind of not many influencers actually go into their leagues and promote their leagues and do it this way. It's mainly about all their team and it's about um, but I like to have a, some sort of an overall twist with everything, the football results, um, what I'm doing, how the league's getting on, how other people are getting on in the league, uh, the Christy Nicholson. And um, yeah, we enjoy it. I can't wait for all this thing to crack on again. Uh, looking forward to it. And now more crazy Mullins. And we'll know more tomorrow. Okay, folks. I also have the Sun Dream team. I'll do... Um, a separate video on that and have that's doing well fbl top dogs sun dream team the first one uh the first year uh we're doing it so yeah take care folks thanks god bless go out